Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is Arlene once again, and what you see in front of me are rolls of like tape. Uh, a lot of people will use these for thumb guards instead of using the leather uh, ones that you put over your thumb. These are very simple to use. Um, I'm just going to tell you where you can get them and the best prices for them and how to use them. Uh, a thumb guard is used when you pull the knife to your thumb, okay, when you're carving. If you're carving a piece of wood that you can protect your thumb from getting cut by the blade. And what we do is we, um, uh, this was a whole roll of uh, about this long. And what I did was I took a very sharp knife and I cut them in about one inch thicknesses. Now this particular one I bought at Walmart. I think they run, I don't know, maybe four dollars for three. Uh, and this is, uh, I think it's Johnson & Johnson, okay, and this is very thick, okay, it's, it's a little thicker than the one I had bought at Tractor Supply. Um, this here was actually in the veterinarian section uh, where the horse's um, vet supplies were, and this was a little bit cheaper. These run about three dollars for a little longer roll. You probably get three or four out of the same thing. You can run them through a bandsaw if you want, or you can just use a knife like I did with these um, and cut through them. Just be very, very careful when you do lay them on a table as you cut them, you know, and work your way down to the center. Um, so how you use this, this one's a little thinner, as you can see, all right? That's a little thinner, and I'm just going to demonstrate how this works. Uh, what you want to do is you're on your thumb, you want to... Um, Take it and just start wrapping it. Now you don't want it super tight, but just pull it out and wrap it a few times. I'm getting to the end of my roll here. And then what you want to do is just take it and you're supposed to be able to pull it off just like that. And that's a nice snug fit. Um, you know, you may want to wrap it two or three times and uh, it works really, really well for a thumb guard. Uh, yeah, it will cost a little bit of money um, than the stationary ones that you have. You get a little more protection on the leather ones that you can put over your thumb. They cost about three dollars. But you can also wrap the bottom of it if you want to keep it in place or put a little bit on here and then put it up in the um, into the thumb guard. It will, it will keep it because it's kind of a a rubbery feeling um, on, on this. So uh, this is a little thicker. You may not have to wrap it as, as tight. Um, I mean as, as many wraps around it as this thinner stuff. Um, but I like this a little bit better. It feels a little more comfortable because it's not as rough. This is really kind of a rougher feel to it. Uh, but this is made by Johnson & Johnson. I don't know who made this particular kind. But that is my tip for the day for wood carvers. Um, you know, you also have a Kevlar glove, um, there's, uh, you know, three different sizes for your glove, but I thought this is a new, not a new way of doing it, but some people prefer this because um, they don't slip off when you carve. Okay, uh, keep carving and uh, we'll get another project up soon. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.